Good morning, my name's Tom Griffin. I'm the Chief of Police here in Peabody. Uh, today we're gonna go downstairs and look at a lot of the different vehicles and explain the uh, different uses for those types of vehicles that we have in the city. Um, I think you'll find that very interesting. But before we do that, I, I did wanna take a moment and, and thank everybody out there for the support that the police department's received over the last couple of months. I think we've had a tremendous outpouring from uh, community members, from the mayor's office, from the city councilors, and it's really um, touched us all and, and made us feel good about what we do um, and how much appreciation we have out there in the city. So I just really wanted to, to say that and thank you all very much from, from the bottom of our hearts here at the police department. It really, it really has made a very positive impact on us and uh, it's very much appreciated. The other thing I wanted to point out um, is that on October 2nd, it's a Sunday morning here, we're gonna have um, a very large parade going through the city from Washington Street down to Main Street and up Lowell Street almost all the way to the, um, to the mall. That's gonna be an outstanding event. Uh, there's been a lot of people working on it throughout the uh, last year or so. And it's gonna create some traffic and some public safety concerns. You're gonna be getting a lot of information from the police department and from the city over the next six weeks. And I, I really think it's important that you pay attention to what um, information we're putting out there to make everybody have a safe and happy day. I think it's gonna be wonderful. Uh, there's gonna be a couple thousand people uh, marching in the parade, all kinds of bands and floats and public safety um, honor guards. I think, I think you're gonna have a great time coming out and watching it. And there's an after event up at the Emerson Park that I think you'll really enjoy. So I just wanna put it out there early now, so, well, it's, it's getting kind of close actually, so, um, but really st start paying attention to the traffic patterns that we're gonna be putting in place and the public safety issues and, and plan your day because it's gonna be a great event for the city of Peabody. So uh, with that said, I'd like to get downstairs and, and start showing you around some of our vehicles. See you there. We're outside here behind the police station. We're gonna show you a couple of the different vehicles that we use and uh, explain the purposes for what we do with them. This is Sergeant Jim Hawkins, he's one of our uh, traffic sergeant. He's an expert in drug recognition and he's going to kind of walk you guys through some of the different things we have in the cars and what they're for and, and, and how to use them and that kind of stuff. So go ahead, Jim. So this is one of our, our new Explorers. We've switched over to these about two or three years ago now. Uh, we switched over from the Crown Vicks, which we had for many years. Uh, they're all equipped with a spotlight here. We've got the light bar up top that also lights up pretty bright at night. Let's see if I can start this up. And the lights on as soon as it kicks on. Then if we use the spotlights, it'll light up pretty good at night. Lights up an entire street for you. All the cruisers are equipped with the laptop as well as a radio and a light system and a PA. In the back they've got a cage to keep them separated from the, the officer for safety reasons. Inside the car an officer can keep a shotgun or a patrol rifle if they're equipped uh, and trained with that as well. They're also assigned a um, medical kit, which includes Narcan, so that when they're out on the street, they have it easily accessible to them. Then they also have to carry their own personal gear for um, them to do their job and write their reports or write tickets or things like that, and, you know, fire extinguisher. But that's a basic cruiser that every patrolman yep. would be assigned to on a given shift. Yeah, this is our desk for eight hours a day. This particular one, you'll notice it's a little bit different. It's, it's the exact same vehicle, except it has these mounts on the roof that are attached to a computer system inside. So we're gonna take a ride and show you how that works. Hey, Reed, and as soon as it as soon picks up it picks on something, up in, believe me, you will know right away. Suspended or revoked registration. Yeah, so it'll, it'll alert me, and then I will have to either incorrect or correct, I just hit correct, it stops the beeping, and, and then I have to run it through YMC just to verify that it is suspended or revoked. So the next vehicle is these bikes. These are the traditional ones that we've had for years and years and years. You'll see these around, guys pedal them, you know, up on the, uh, the bike path, the walking paths that we have throughout the city now, downtown on Main Street, and if, um, the new revolutionary idea in, in the industry is to have them motorized. This one here, we actually have two of these in the city, and one of them we bought with some, some of our own funds, but we also got a, a donation from a generous benefactor here in the city. And um, so we have two of them that we can deploy together, and it's actually motorized. You, you just hit this button, a 
and it gets the uh, battery going and, and it can go up to uh, 20 to 25 miles for an extended period of time and then you can plug it in. So if we need to go from, from Main Street up to the South PBD Trail or out on the golf course, if there's a problem out there and we need to get a guy out there on a bike because we don't want to take the cruises out there, it's, it's a great tool for us to have. And they're good because they're kind of covert, they're quiet, people don't see you coming or they don't hear you coming where they may hear the engine from a cruiser or a siren. So there's a lot of different functions that we can use with these and people like them because when you're locked in a car people don't think you're very approachable but if you're on a 10-speed bike people will come up and talk to you all the time so it's uh, it's a nice community policing type of tool. So the next vehicle is a uh, police motorcycle. We have three that we have in the department and they're utilized for a lot of different functions. Special events mostly like uh, parades and they can get into smaller places that a traditional uh, vehicle won't be able to go. What are, what are some of the other things, Jimmy, that... Uh, yeah, we put them up uh, for traffic enforcement, uh, parades, funerals, the charitable events, the yeah. little motorcycle rides, we help escort those around. Um, they, I know they've used them to patrol the bike paths every yeah. once in a while. And similar to the bike, the 10 speeds, the, you know, the guy's out here, so that he's a lot more approachable than if he's in a, if he's in a uh, marked car like that, and people tend to come out and talk to them a little bit more than if, um, if they're inside a, a big vehicle. And they can carry all their equipment right here in this box that they need. They can keep their uh, you know, ticket books or anything else, any, anything they need to write their reports and, and all that type of stuff, like traffic vests and all that extra equipment that they may need. They always wear a helmet when they're driving it, never have it uh, without it. So it's a, it's a nice piece of equipment for us to have. This is an antique 1969 police motorcycle. We're in the process of trying to rehab and clean up and get it out on the road. I think similar to the antique cruiser, we, we like to touch base with our, with our history here and keep people connected. And I think if we were able to get this rolling and out on the road, I think people would love to, uh, to see us on it because it is, it's a piece of PBD police history. So um, that's why we're, we're keeping this here right now and trying to rehab it. This obviously is our police ATV. The special Operations Unit uses it. You have to actually have specialized training to be able to ride this. You have to wear a helmet. We have a lot of open space here in the city, uh, wooded areas. If, if someone were to be out walking around on a, on a path and uh, slip and fall and hurt themselves, we can deploy this out there to try and find them. Uh, up on the golf course, if something were to happen, we can also do that. You'll see this at the parade sometimes. The maneuverability of it is, is, is exceptional for us. We can store a lot of equipment in here and move some things around. Uh, I think there's about a half a dozen guys that are actually trained on it that are capable of riding it. Um, you know, if you like using this, you know, in your private life, this is a great tool for you to have. Um, a lot of people, you know, will go up north and ride on ATVs and then they can use that skill here at the police department. This is what we call our dare car. A lot of times you'll see this in the parade or at other special events. You'll see McGruff, the crime dog, sitting in there with one of his uh, handlers that helps him out with a lot of his investigations. We got this a uh, number of years ago through a number of different donations from uh, different companies and they're, they're listed on the back of it and everything. It just gets people talking in a positive way about the PBD Police Department and that's, that's kind of what our goal is. We take it out as much as we can for any event. If people want, uh, we'll be more than happy to bring it along. You know, let people take pictures or do whatever they want um, in it. So it's a, it's a really nice tool for us to, to connect with the public. This is McGruff the Crime Dog. He goes to all of our special events, the parades. Anytime somebody requests him for a block party, things of that nature, he's usually available to other departments. Uh, this past Christmas time, we had a, a road race up at the industrial park. He came in on a helicopter with Santa Claus. So he's, he's pretty friendly, doesn't bite. Want to wave to him, McGruff? He usually drives around either in the 49 Ford that you guys are just in or the, the dare car and the parades. There's always an officer that goes around as a handler, usually Officer Coop. Uh, I'm just going to give Officer Coop a hug. Isn't that nice? <laughs>Joe takes care of this car for us. He actually has a uniform from that same era that he wears when he drives it. So it's pretty cool, it's nice. People like to see it when it's in the parade, um, take pictures of it, especially when he's in, uh, in that uniform. So like I said, we'll take you out for a ride. He's watching the public. They love this thing. I pull people over and they all think I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, we normally
definitely bring this vehicle out for uh, parades, yeah. honor guard, do things like that. Every once in a while, we'll, someone will request uh, this for a wedding. Standard blue Econo van, but it's actually um, situated here at the PBD Police Department because we're part of NEMLEC, which is a regional policing service. Um, and we're actually going to do a whole segment on that sometime in the future, and I'll explain and have some of my officers explain all the different pieces of equipment that go along with this. So we'll, this, we'll get to this in the future. Okay.